Predator is back. It looks mean and feels awesome, but it's probably not what a lot of people would expect. Adidas decided to build on their success from the Ace. And while it's still a knitted laceless boot, they innovated the living daylight out of it. What you get is a toe box as soft as leather, plus a more personal fit and better lockdown, thanks to the new sock construction. Now, if you wore the Ace, you're gonna feel right at home in this, but actually, the Predator has improved and changed a lot. Because instead of leaving a gaping hole around your ankle, it now hugs your ankle skin tightly like a surface suit, but also expands just enough to feel pleasantly wrapped in. And actually, I immediately sensed an extra bit of confidence just because of the fit. On the lockdown, it is actually pretty impressive from what you'd expect from a laceless boot because you feel how the heel eliminates a good chunk of movement inside the boot by locking in your foot. Despite the sock game being on point, the toe box itself is the big jaw dropper with a level of comfort that I haven't tried before in order to feel properly comfortable. But if you get the right fit, you're gonna feel like Tony Stark squeezing into Iron Man's suit. If Iron Man's suit had soft pillows on the inside, that is. To many people, a predator needs swerve elements. But Adidas weren't going to be stuck in the past and instead engineered knitted 3D ridges that offer a textured feel without compromising the softness. While the ridges may feel stiff and sharp, they're actually deceptively soft while adding an okay-ish amount of grippy texture to the touch. It's got this fine line between a foamy padded sensation and a very direct feeling on the ball that I enjoy a lot. And it kind of makes me feel like a lion elegantly stalking its prey on the savannah before striking with precision and fury. So in other words, pretty good. Being honest though, it doesn't have that old school robust, I've got grippy bricks on my feet predator solidity to it, but that's both for the good and the bad. The sole plate on the predator has also seen a revamp and is engineered to be more stable and powerful with angle studs and boost in the insole. And while the boost honestly doesn't make a difference, it is a well-balanced and nicely stable plate that has delivered in all situations. It might sound like a fairy tale return for the Predator, but sadly, there are a few things that bug me. The first thing is the lockdown. And admittedly, it has gotten a lot better, but it still quite can't compete with the lockdown of laces. The other thing are the 3D ridges, which to be fair, I like a lot. But I still feel Adidas would have done better if they had equipped it with a more grippy texture on the coating instead of that matte feel that it has. And that idea of what the Predator ought to have might just be a challenge for the newcomer. Because there will always be dinosaurs like myself who can't forget the good old Predator days. This is nothing like that. It is, however, the best laceless boot made to date. But honestly, the Predator 18 Plus is closer to an ace in terms of tech, on feet feel and performance than to the OG Predators. But that's not necessarily bad. On the contrary, Predator has just evolved with the times, giving you the best tech available at the moment. And thankfully, it works and feels absolutely brilliant on foot. It's still a monster though, just like in the old days, but in a more modern 235 gram, comfortable, elegant interpretation. And still, there's tons of untapped potential to explore. But what do you guys think about the Predator coming back and the Predator 18 Plus? You should let me know in the comment section right down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out more Predator content by clicking the video right down here. Make sure you subscribe by clicking the green bubble somewhere over my head. Leave me a thumbs up if you had a good time and spread the word about the new Predator by sharing the video with your friends. And with that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.